Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is a Tuesday which can only mean one thing. Today I have a new what sold video for you guys to let you know what sold this past week and for how much. If you are new to my channel, my name is Alexia and I am a part-time reseller. I sell on a variety of different websites like Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. Those are the more well-known ones, but I do cross-list to a couple of different other sources. Today we are following up from the week that we left off. So today we are going over the sales that I had from October 9th all the way to October 15th. Since I've been on a roll with these what sold videos every week, I am going to go ahead and just kind of jump in and let you know what sold. I feel like I started off with kind of a slow start, but this whole past week I have been working on getting rid of just old listings, kind of bringing them back to life, seeing what I can do um, to get these items moved out of my closet and off to their new owners. That being said, the first sale that I had was one of the items that I was trying to get rid of. And as you guys know, I do like picking up Torrid. However, I have mentioned their jeans kind of just sit for me. So I am kind of trying to figure out where I can get rid of these jeans and for about how much, just so that I know for future if I ever do come across them. Um, but typically, I probably won't pick them up unless they're maybe at the bins, like a newer style or something like that. That's probably what I would recommend. So going into this first one, we are on October 9th. I had a sale for these Torrid Vintage Straight Boyfriend Straight Jeans. And let me tell you, I had four pictures of these jeans. Not one picture had the whole jeans. It had like the whiskered part um, of like the top half and then... You know, to be honest, it was like the sizing and the tags and then that was pretty much it. So maybe that's why the item sat for so long, but either way, I was finally able to get rid of these. I sold these on Poshmark for $27. I had a customer take me up on my offer. The fees that I put into this were $7.42. These were a donated pair, so I didn't have to put anything into these, and that did leave me with a total of $19.58. The following day, October 10th, I had a sale for this Cartoon Network The Powerpuff Girls sweater, and it was just this basic crew neck sweater, and when I saw this, my sister had originally sourced this out for me at the bins while she was here, and I just thought, what a great piece. I just had to take it. Once I had it here, I was kind of checking comps and getting a little discouraged at the fact that there wasn't so many of these sold. And I didn't find this in particular one, but I did see a couple others that were kind of similar, just had the Powerpuff Girls kind of thing going on. And they sold anywhere from like $20 to $30. So I wasn't sure how well this one was going to do but I did have high hopes because I mean come on it's Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> I shouldn't have second guessed myself because this sold in three days and I almost made a full price sale. My posh sidekick went ahead and sent out a 10% offer on this so the buyer went ahead and purchased at $31. I paid a total of $8.22 into fees for this and that did leave me with a profit of $21.83 for this sweater. It's definitely a sweater that I would pick up again if I definitely saw it. And I definitely think like the Cartoon Network thing kind of had that like vintage look to it or vintage vibe. So I was definitely happy with this sale. The following day, we are now on October 11th. I did have two sales in the morning time. The first one, I went ahead and took a customer's offer on a one-piece swimsuit. This was for a dream suit one-piece swimsuit, and I only picked this up at the bins because it was new with tags, and of course, I love my new with tags. I hadn't heard of the brand at all, but upon checking comps, I did see that this brand was sold through Amazon, and it was selling for about $70, $80. Um, so I definitely thought there was going to be some good profit in it since it was new with tags. I went ahead and I accepted an offer on Poshmark for $30.
the fees that I placed into this were $6 and then that did leave me with a total of $22.96 for this one. This swimsuit definitely didn't do bad. I would say it took just a little over a month to sell. Um, and being that we are right at the end of like summertime, I was so excited to get rid of it this summertime and not have to hold on to it until next one. So this was a nice little sale. The same morning on the 11th, just right after I made that dream suit sale, I had a liker like one of my athleta leggings and this was a pair that I've had for quite a while that I just kind of wanted to get rid of it. I sent out a $25 offer before my posh sidekick could get to it and within minutes the buyer went ahead and accepted my offer of $25. So I sold these Athleta Black Metro Skinny Pants and I say pants but they're pretty much like a pant legging and they more of like looked like a jegging so I did put it under like pants. The buyer again accepted my $25 offer on these. And with the fees that I placed into this, I put in $7.02. And that did leave me with a total of $16.95 for this one. This one took just a little bit. I want to say like around May time. So it's been sitting for just a little while, nothing too long. But I am getting into kind of looking at old inventory and trying to get rid of it, see if I can make back my money and plus some so I can reinvest into some smarter pieces. But this was a fun little sale for me on this date. I had a silent day on the 12th and from there I just knew I had to hustle and figure out what I can do to make sales for the weekend. So I did kind of go through, I started relisting some items that I had placed on sale and then just never brought back up. So pretty much relisting is what I was doing the couple days after the 11th. This did bring in a couple sales. The first one being a Old Navy green button down blouse. And I will say that every Friday I do a 25% off sale off of this top five or six liked items. This has been on my liked items for quite a while, probably like three, four weeks. I've had to relist this plenty of times and just no one would buy it at my 25% off. So for this day, I specifically kind of dropped it down another couple dollars. And because I dropped it down to 20, I had one of my likers pick this up at full price, technically full price because I did put it on sale, but I had the buyer come and swoop this up for $20. I put in $4 into fees and this was a bins fine, so not too much more went into this shirt, but I did get left with $15.42. Following that sale, I did have these American Eagle boyfriend high-waisted short jeans on sale. Um, and I did send out a couple offers, so I did have a buyer come and take these from me. These sold for $22. The fees that I placed into this were $6.42. And that did leave me with a profit of $14.07 for these. These jeans were pretty basic, and I remember purchasing these at the bins when I was kind of starting out. So. I honestly was just trying to get rid of these. I don't remember why I picked them up. Probably just the American Eagle um, itself because I do source that quite a bit, but these did sit for me. They didn't have too much attention, so I was happy to get these off my hands. The next sale on the 13th that I made were for these Hollister Black Distressed High Rise Skinny Jeans. And these were new with tags, so I did have these priced a little bit higher but these came from my consignment customer, so I was happy to take the counter offer that I had on these. These sold for $25. Of course, Poshmark takes their 20%, so I put in $5 into fees on these, and that did leave me with a profit of $20 on these jeans. The last sale on the 13th that I made were for these Croc Pink Classic Slip-On Clog. In the morning time, I had the buyer ask me about the color because I had them listed under pink, but I will say they kind of gave off more of a purple kind of color, and I kept going back and forth between pink and purple, and I just couldn't figure it out. But I did explain that to the buyer. Shortly after, I did get an offer from the buyer for $16, and then 
I was on the verge of just, I was having a good day. It was payday, sales were coming through. And I kind of took a look at the Crocs again because they were sitting in my office. And I just felt like $16 wasn't a totally fair price and I bought these at the bin. So it was just a mixture of just having this positive attitude and knowing that my cost of goods were so low that I sent the buyer a message and let her know that I just wanted to give her a little bit more of a discount. So I was going to decline her offer and send her a new one. It took her just a little bit, but within a couple hours, she went ahead and purchased these and said thank you. I was already headed out Friday to head out camping with my family, so I hurried up and got these in the mail for her, so I was super excited about this sale. It just put me in a happy mood, and this did complete my day on the 13th. October 14th was Saturday. I did mention I was camping, so I woke up to a sale, and this one was from the day prior. I was sending out offers, just trying to get rid of old inventory. So this was something that I basically started out with, and it was from my consignment customers. This was for a divided H&M abstract sheer top. I thought this was really, really cool, but didn't know really how to style it. And of course, I'm sure the buyer definitely knows how to. Um, but I went ahead and sent out a couple offers for $13 and I had a liker go ahead and snag this up. The Poshmark fees that I put into this were $4.97 and that did leave me with a profit of $8.03. The afternoon on Saturday was pretty quiet and it wasn't until I got back home Saturday like around 4 o'clock when I started to get some more activity into my closet. I had a buyer interested in this Anthropology orange velvet wrap top and let me tell you when I found this I was so excited because it was Anthropology, and of course I bought this kind of starting out so I thought I knew what I was doing. Of course this did not go as I wanted but I was so excited to kind of get rid of this again old inventory I'm just trying to be done with it the buyer went ahead and sent me a $35 offer on this and I did drop the price this weekend this was one of the items that I dropped it down to I believe down to like $63 and I want to say that it was because I checked comps during the time that I had it there were comps that were selling for like about 60, 70 ish dollars. And there were, of course, some that were like around 25, 30 dollars. Um, but I was shooting for like that higher number. Once I got that offer and I rechecked comps, new me, knowledgeable me, of course, noticed that I did shoot really high and there were more sold sitting at about 30 dollars. So I definitely took her up on her offer of 35 dollars. That being said, the 20% that I put into Poshmark were $7 and that did leave me with a total of $22 profit on this one. The last sale of the day on October 14th were for these Levi's 502 Boys Tapered Jeans. These were new with tag and these were donated to me so of course I didn't have to thrift these in any way or anything. Of course I love new with tags. So I definitely threw this into my closet. I did have Posh Sidekick send out an offer for $27. The fees that I went ahead and put into this were $7.42. And I did mention that these were donated. So I did end up with a profit of $19.58. Moving into the last day of the week, we are on October 15th. I did have one sale come through ebay and my ebay store has been just so quiet i've had like new watchers and things like that but of course all the offers i'm sending out are just kind of crickets and i just don't know what's going on i mean i'm processing and trying my hardest putting in my heart and soul into this relationship and i'm just not getting anything back from ebay <laughs> that being said i was blessed with this sale i had a victoria's secret fuchsia soft plush robe again this was new with tags and I did end up getting this from a donated bag that I am trying to kind of get rid of right now so I was happy to have this kind of leave as a full price sale 
I was running a 15% off sale on my eBay store. So technically the buyer paid at full price. This robe sold for $56.90. The buyer did pay for shipping, so this wasn't anything that I had to pay for, but of course it does come out of that gross profit. The fees that I put in were $18.73 into this, and then this did leave me with a total profit of $38.17 for this. I was so happy to get rid of this because I am trying my hardest to go through that donated bag of items so that I can update you guys and let you know how well that bag did because I have gotten rid of more than half of it so so exciting to have this one this was one of the nicer items that was in that bag but I was so happy with this week's sales I definitely got rid of a lot that I wanted to just like old inventory I made back my money and I didn't have to lose out on anything so that's always the best part of the week not having to lose out on any money this week did leave me with a total of 12 sales and in gross sales I did make a total of three hundred and twenty three dollars and ninety cents this week definitely felt really busy but I am getting so motivated at all the items that are just getting cleaned out of my closet and just getting rid of that old inventory, I can't tell you how good it feels to get rid of it. I've been relisting like crazy. I have been kind of going through sale items and seeing what I can get rid of. Especially being that my cost of goods are always so low. I am trying not to hold on to anything anymore and trying to get rid of it within a couple months. If not, figure out what I need to do and just get it gone. So that is my advice to you to go through your closet, go through those fun items that you kind of started out with. See if you can get rid of them, run some sales. This is your sign. <laughs> All jokes aside, I was very pleased with this week and I hope you guys had such a great week. If you guys like the What Sold videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.